Powerful storms whirl over Jupiter's North Pole, and breathtaking new images taken by NASA's Juno spacecraft during its July 5th close approach to the giant planet. The storms reach depths of about 30 miles, or 50 kilometers, in Jupiter's turbulent atmosphere and are hundreds of miles wide. Scientists are investigating these storms to learn what causes them to arise and what gives them their distinct characteristics. Previous observations of Jupiter have revealed that the hue of these cyclones varies depending on the direction in which they spin as well as their location. Storms that rotate counterclockwise in Jupiter's northern hemisphere and clockwise in Jupiter's southern hemisphere, for example, have drastically different forms and colors than those that spin clockwise in the north and counterclockwise in the south. Juno, which launched in 2011 and arrived at Jupiter five years later, captured the images during its 43rd close flyby on July 5th. The probe travels in a very elliptical orbit around Jupiter, completing one lap every 43 days. Juno comes within 3,100 miles or 5,000 kilometers of the tops of Jupiter's clouds at its closest approach. This image was acquired while the probe was around 15,600 miles or 25,100 kilometers away from the planet. The Juno mission, which was set to expire in 2021, was extended last year until at least 2025. During its remaining time on Jupiter, the probe will continue to examine the planet's interesting atmosphere, as well as the planet's mystery moons, Ganymede, Europa, and Io, some of which may harbor microbial life. Meanwhile, NASA invites space enthusiasts and citizen scientists to assist in categorizing images of storms and other meteorological phenomena obtained by Juno's JunoCam sensor as part of the Jovian Vortex Hunter initiative. Anyone with a cell phone or a laptop can participate to the research. As part of the initiative, over 2,400 volunteers have classified over 375,000 pictures. Check the link in the description. And make sure to like, subscribe, check our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.